There we go. First fish of the morning. God, he hit it so hard. Dang, that was, a, that was a really good hit. First fish in the morning on the Whopper Plopper. As you guys can probably tell, the river is a lot higher than it normally is. And, um, you know, we've just been getting a lot of rain. All right, there you go. First fish in the morning. Kind of small, but he fought really hard. Um, I've been hearing a lot of bass just hitting top water all around. Nice fish. Let's get a release on it. There he goes. There we go, second fish of the day. There you go. Oh my god, I almost fell. Alright. Nice little fish on the uh, on the whopper plopper. This is about 7.30ish. And uh yeah, it's pretty good one, probably like a pound and a half. He has such a tiny amount compared to that body. That's, that's how you know they're feeding up on shad right now. Let's see if I can get some more. Let me get a release on him. There he goes. one on the shaky head all right great finesse bait for fall fishing like this there we go it may catch little dinks like this but it can catch big ones i've caught big ones on shaky heads too nice little bass in the shaky head going for the release there he goes There's one on the square bill crankbait. Tiny one. He's alright. Pretty small, but first cast on the square bill. Nice little fish on the square bill crankbait. They're all getting, they're all pretty fat, so that tells me that they're uh, feeding up on all the shad that are in here. Find a good place to release it. There he goes. Alright guys, so uh, I was editing the video and it only, I think all the all the stuff I got only came out to like three minutes and um, I thought I could add just a little bit more. I'm just gonna talk about what I was throwing today and um, you know how the conditions were for fishing. Uh, so the conditions this morning was like 60 degrees and it's been really cool lately so the water temps are definitely going down a little bit. And um, this morning it was 60 degrees. I was wearing pants, a sweatshirt. I was actually kind of cold. And um, yeah, the fish were really active. I could see them hitting top water everywhere. I'm pretty sure they're starting to chase shad. Um, I actually saw one a fish, a bass jumping right or hitting top water right in front of me, and I saw a little shad jump out about the same size of a 1.5 KVD square bill. And uh, that's what I was throwing today. I was just throwing this. KVD uh, 1.5 square bill by Strike King, and I have it in a sexy chartreuse pattern. And um, it's kind of like that uh, sexy shad, but with just a little bit more chartreuse in it instead of just that one line. And then for top water, um, I was throwing this Whopper Plopper, and um, it's the black one. You can, I think I have a little bit more info on my Whopper Plopper video. You can go and look at that on my channel. And I, when I wanted to go finesse, I was throwing a uh, football style shaky head with a zoom green pumpkin trick bait, a trick worm. And um, those are pretty good baits for fall. If you wanted to switch up something for top water, you could go with maybe a spook or a buzz bait. And then um, if you want to throw something else besides a square bill, you could easily throw like a spinner bait or a lipless crank bait, uh, maybe a chatter bait. Um, there's a lot of different options out there. You can maybe throw a fluke or something like that. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of different options. There's tons of videos on YouTube. Just YouTube 
fall bass fishing. There are tons on it. That's pretty much how I learned everything that I know about fishing is YouTube. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video. Peace.